Hey darling. Um, so I thought I'd bang some out from the basement um, so I can do the new moon flow. Um, I hope that you have that link too. Um, you should. Um, yeah, so I can do the new moon flow tomorrow at the studio and use up that, that good hour. Um, that's my last couple of times in there, so I might as well. Um, that being said, uh, your birthday's coming up and your present is in my sight. Um, not like in my room in my sight, but I saw it yesterday. I just need to be able to get it up to you because it's not something I really want to ship. Um, that being said, trip to Missoula is going to have to be planned. Um, and I think the universe is going to speak to that and make it happen sooner than later. So that being said, go ahead and ground down through your seat with the kind of the head lift up to the sky. Lots to fill you in on. Um, yeah, there's been a lot. There's been a lot going on. Um, and I'm just still in that. Well, let me coast it. Um, <laughs> having faith. Um, but that being said. Go ahead and close your eyes, come into your breath. Nice deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Three more. Two more. One more. Allow yourself to come back into your breath. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Always greeting ourselves from a space of gratitude. Give gratitude to the universe, the deep weaving of wisdom and knowledge and luck. Give gratitude to this earth. She reminds us that we live in a space of abundance rather than a space of scarcity. But despite the condition, We always have more than enough. Sometimes you just need to be better about pressing pride to the side and asking for help about sharing the resources that you do have. Big inhale. And exhale. Give gratitude to the indigenous peoples of these lands, the Crow and the Cheyenne, the Salish and the Blackfoot tribes, Salish and the Blackfoot making their way up into Missoula, with the Pondere, Kalispell, and the Kootenai. Give gratitude for this practice of yoga and for black and brown people as the original creators and sustainers of this practice. And if there's a person or persons, place or places you'd like to dedicate your practice to, you can take the time to do so now. Nice deep inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and slowly blink open your eyes. Come back into the room and into the space. Allowing yourself just to kind of shift back and forth side to side. 
grabbing maybe onto the front part of your shins and kind of just pulling back and opening up through your heart space, kind of rocking back and forth, creating some opening through the shoulders, up through the chest, big inhale here. So hold on hard to the front part of the shins as you let your head rock back ever so slightly, big inhale here. Exhale, round into yourself. Low belly pulls up and in, pull the chin in towards the chest, inhale. Chest pulls forward again, exhale. Let's go for two more. Inhale, chest pulls forward. Exhale. Pull up and in one more time. Inhale. Chest pulls forward. Exhale. Pull up and in. Inhale, back to your center. Hands to your knees. Chest pulls forward. And you allow yourself to circle back. We go for four. For three. For two and for one, and then take yourself back that opposite way. Pull in on the low belly, pull forward with the chest for four, three, two, and one. Pull yourself back to your center line. Inhale one more time forward, exhale back. Inhale, pop your knees up and grab onto the front part of your feet and ankles and roll over your hands and knees. Turn your hands back, so fingertips back towards you. We'll stretch out through our wrists. Tuck your toes and pull your knees or your sit bones back towards your heels. You can kind of massage out through your knees here. Check in with the stack of the hips. Big inhale here. Check in with the hands. Hands are spread nice and wide. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, shift yourself forward, turn your hands on nice and straight. Shifting back and forth side to side here. Maybe taking the sit bones back down towards the heels and rolling yourself out here. Here we go for four, for three, for two, and for one. And then take it back that opposite way for four, for three for two and for one and then take yourself back to your center line inhale into your cow chest pulls forward low belly drops press down through the tops of the feet exhale into your cat two more inhale into cow exhale into cat one more time inhale into cow Oof. Exhale into cat. Inhale back into table. Tuck the toes, pop the hips back and high, come into your first down dog. Pedal out through the feet, check in with the hands. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold. Maybe you kind of shift and rock back and forth side to side here. Maybe you shift yourself forward. And then let's pull ourselves all the way forward and bring ourselves into a plank and then wave it back. We'll go for four, for three, for two, and one. Nice deep inhale, tiptoe the feet up to meet the hands, press into the palms and ground down through the feet. Shifting back and forth side to side here. Let yourself hang super heavy. Crown of the head presses down towards the earth. Lift through the hips and think about straightening through the legs. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold. Two more big breaths. Big inhale. Exhale. Drop low. One more time. Big inhale. Breathe. Exhale. Head hangs super heavy. Inhale. Ground down through the feet and pull yourself all the way up to stand. Arms come high to the sky. Big inhale. Open up through the heart and the chest, little mini baby back bend here. Breathe from the base of the belly all up to the base of the throat. Hands can come to the low back if you want to. Big inhale. Exhale, one more time, big inhale. Exhale, pull yourself forward, engage your low belly. Bring yourself all the way down and over the tops of the thighs. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Step, step into your plank. Press back through the heels. Pedal out through the feet. Big inhale. Exhale, rock to the outside of your right foot. Come into your side plank. Left hand comes high. Lift through the hips and pull your fingertips. 
towards the front of the room. Big inhale here. Shift yourself through your center line. Same thing on that opposite side. Hand comes high to the sky. Big inhale. Reach and pull. Open up through the side body. Exhale. Hand comes down. Drop to the knees. Send your hips back. Shifting back and forth, side to side. Pull your fingertips out in front of you. Lengthen through the spine. Big inhale. And then exhale. Pull your chest forward. Hips come over your knees. And then send your hands towards the top of the mat. Coming into puppy pose. Big inhale here. Exhale. Rocking back and forth, side to side. Through the forehead. Massaging out through your third eye. Maybe you give your nose a little bit of compression here. And then shift yourself forward. Shoulders come over your elbows. Press down through the tops of the feet. Raise up through the crown of the head. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold. Two more big breaths. Big inhale. Exhale, last one. Big inhale. Exhale. Slowly release, hands come back to the bust line, press to the knees, tuck the toes, and send the hips back and high. Nice deep inhale. Spot for the outsides of the pinkies, put a bend in the knees and hop. Knees wide, hands come to your heart line. Shifting back and forth, side to side. Oh, your birthday present is gonna be so good, girl. <laughs> Pull up through the crown of the head, big inhale here. Exhale, hold. One more time. Big inhale. Exhale. Hands come down to the earth. See if you can take yourself into a crow pose. So shift your hips up. Uh, knees come towards your armpits as you create a shelf. Shifting yourself forward. Maybe you lift one leg and then the other. Finding your hover here. Big inhale. You can always drop out of it. You can always come back into it. Try to take your gaze out towards the top of the mat. And then when you're ready, you drop down to the soles of the feet. The left hand extends beyond your left toes. Right hand comes high to the sky. Maybe you put yourself in a bind. It's optional. Big inhale. Keep pulling in on the low belly. And then exhale. Same thing on that opposite side. Fingertips reach. Opposite hand comes high to the sky. Big inhale here. And then reach around. <sighs> Grab onto the fingertips. Roll open through the heart and the chest. Big inhale here. Exhale, release. Hands come down to the earth. Roll yourself forward again. Press into your palms. And then toes come up to touch. Big inhale. Shoot yourself back if you can. Drop down to the knees and take yourself back into a child's pose. Draw your fingertips out in front of you again. Big inhale here. Exhale. Shift yourself forward. Come back into that puppy pose. Hips stay high. Drop down through the heart and the chest. Chin can come out on the mat if you want to. Exhale. Two more big breaths. Big inhale. And exhale. Last one. Big inhale. Exhale. Shift yourself forward. Hips drop down. Hands come, or shoulders, excuse me, elbows underneath your shoulders, sphinx pose. Raise up through the heart and the chest, press down through the pelvis. Find that compression in the low part of the back. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Hands come back to the bust line, tuck the toes, press to the knees, and send your hips back and high, down dog. Spot right in between the two thumbs, put a bend in the knees and hop. Feet come up to meet hands. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, down and over the tops of the thighs and then inhale, sweep yourself high to the sky again. Exhale, back, bend one more time. Open up through the heart and the chest, send the hips forward. Try to squeeze from the inside of the thighs rather than the outside of the glutes. Breathe into the base of the belly, exhale. One more time, big inhale. And then exhale, bring yourself back to center. Inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, drop down and over. <sighs> Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, hands come all the way down to the mat. Step, step, back into your plank. Come back into that side plank again. Left hand comes high to the sky. Maybe you float that left leg this time. 
maybe you put a bend in the knee and take the sole of the foot to the inside of the thigh as you receive it and press up. Side plank or side tree. <laughs> Big inhale here. Exhale, remove the foot and drop it back behind you, mini wild thing. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time. Big inhale. And then exhale. Same thing on that opposite side. Hand move through center. Find your balance. Roll yourself onto the outside of that left foot. Right hand comes high to the sky. Big inhale here. Maybe you float that top leg. Maybe put a bend in the knee and take the sole of the foot to the inside of the thigh. Press and receive. Hand moves towards the top of the mat. Open up through the heart and the chest. Exhale. One more time. Big inhale. Exhale, foot steps back behind you. Lift through the hips. Breathe here. And then exhale. Spin yourself back. Drop all the way down to the belly and the chest and inhale, baby cobra. Turn and look out past your left shoulder. And slowly take your head through your center line. Turn and look out past your right. Exhale, take the head back to center. Send the hips back towards the heels, child's pose. One more big breath here, big inhale. Exhale, walk your hands back towards you. Shift over and onto your seat. Take that left leg long, sole that right foot in. Actually, let's do this today, pull it up and high. You can always prop this knee if need be. Flex the toes back towards the face. Be mindful of your knee if it's lifted. You can always take it to the inside of the thigh. And then inhale, arms come high. And then exhale, let yourself come down and over the top of that leg. Nice deep inhale. Wrap your muscles around your bones. Exhale, hold. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. And exhale. Slowly walk yourself back up. Swap out your legs. Opposite foot, opposite thigh. Press, check in with that knee. Turn towards that straight leg, inhale, arms high. Exhale, down and over. Relax to the back side of the thigh and the knee. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time. Big inhale. Exhale, walk yourself back up. Take both of your legs nice and long. Wide, lift and shift. Move your seat back behind you. Come onto the front part of your sit bones. Big inhale here. And then slowly walk your fingertips out in front of you. Reach long through the spine. Let yourself drop over the insides of the hips. Relax through the groin. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. And exhale, slowly walk your hands back towards you. Hands come up underneath the knees. Shimmy the legs up. Soles of the feet come together to touch. Elbows to the inside of the knees. Press down as you take your forehead and aim it towards the insides, arches of the feet. Nice deep inhale here. Exhale, hold one more time, big inhale. Exhale, bring yourself back up. Pop your knees to your center, extend the legs out in front of you, inhale, arms high. Exhale, roll over the front part of the thighs, pull the crown of the head towards the top of the feet. Shift your hips back and forth from side to side, flex through the feet, hands to the outside of the feet, pull the crown of the head forward. 
Big inhale here. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, walk your hands up the legs. Shift your seat forward. Come all the way down onto your back. Give yourself a nice big hug here. Chin to chest. Shifting back and forth, side to side. Massaging out through the spine. Back of the head can come down to the mat. Tuck the chin in towards the chest. Lengthen through the spine. And then soles of the feet raise high to the sky. Flex the toes back towards the face. Release through the legs. Nice deep inhale. Check in with your hips. I like to do some full swings just to see where my hips are at, where they're popping. If you do it on one side, the wall blocks my space. Do it on the other. All right, so find that extended mobility. Nice deep inhale. And then exhale, put a bend in the knees and extend the feet all the way down to the end of the mat. Let the toes swap out to the side, palms come down to the side, coming into your Shavasana. And girl, let's pull a card today. That's the other thing I'm doing when I go up to Missoula, I'm gonna go in and stop at Sacred Ally and buy myself a new deck. Cause I know, I feel like you and I are probably the only ones tired of these cards. Everyone else like in my network doesn't, <laughs> Uh, they haven't been teaching with or like in class as much, um, but at the same time. Not that I'm not grateful for the deck. Because it's like you get these cards now, all of them. <laughs> all right. We'll go this one. That's for sure. Okay. <laughs> Death and rebirth. Darkness to light. Oh, thank God. This card indicates that a time of closure and great transition is at hand. This may seem like a relatively minor event, or it could be something big, like the ending of a relationship, a job, or a long time residence. Remember however this card signifies important change, even though the most difficult experience or the dark or the darkest deepest darkness comes new life filled with light and unexpected blessings. The Black Panther is a symbol of power through transformation. Although Panthers the Panthers here are intense, they bring the mystical message that you have the power to let go of your fear of the unknown. When you do so, you'll come out of the darkness enlightened and wake up to a newly conscious life. The panther priestess, dressed in white, comes to tame the difficult energies within this transition. She carries the antler totem, icons of clear perception, and she directs you to open your awareness to the new opportunities coming your way. Any change that may present itself should be considered from a spiritual perspective point of view. Look within. Whether you're dealing with a lost job or the shifting or ending of a relationship, there's a deeper message or lesson in the experience. Trust in yourself and in your future. For you are stronger and more resourceful than you realize. Your personal power is charged with the energy of your eternal spirit. It will light the darkness and carry you forward into a truly wonderful new life. Affirmation, I turn to my eternal soul for power and direction. I fierce, fearlessly face the future. So back to the theme of the year, girl. <laughs> Faith over fear. Um, and I feel like this year has been one about extreme testings of faith. Um, and I feel like right now my faith is very, very deep. Um, and so I hope that your faith um, in this life the beauty of it, the things go your way when you put your perspective on that, um, when you call out to, you know, whatever natural energy is there, um, 
that is there to help and serve you as long as what you're asking for is in benefit of yourself and all. So that being said, the divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine love in me sees, honors, and reflects the divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine love in me, the collectively in all of us. Thank you for sharing your practice with me and for trusting me as um, with your heart, body, mind, and soul. With that, I say go in peace and remember to serve love always. All right. Peace and love, darling. I'll see you soon.